Good morning, beloveds. Fussing with the camera angle, not fussing with the camera angle. I'm always fussing with the camera angle, right? All right. Whew. So today uh, at 11.06, it will officially be spring. And um, <laughs> we started off the day in the 40s. Although this is how you know technology. Um, one of my app, one of my uh, weather apps said it was 42 degrees out there and the other app said it was 48 degrees out there. I don't know how cold it was. It was a nice walk. So, but happy spring. <clears throat> All right, March 19th. Uh, oh, and by the way, the vernal equinox spring, it's when the um, sun is pointed directly at the equator and uh, the day and night is are equal lengths. And I was like, oh, okay. Yes. I didn't know about the equator thing. I just heard that on the news. Um, but I did know about the equal day and night. So we have equal amounts of daylight and night light. Night dark. So, okay. Oh, and there is sun on my thing. I can almost read them without my glasses. Yay, because sunshine. It's just not quite enough sunshine. So, March 19th, remember. And our author is Lillian DeWaters, and this is from How to Have Dominion from 1921, in case you want to look her up. Remember to love and to love abundantly and freely. Love purifies, cleanses, and heals. Love inspires you to press on and achieve. Remember to be grateful and to express your gratitude. If you fail to express your love and your gratitude to those who have pointed the way to you, and to those who have helped you, you are like the plant that has not yet blossomed, but still selfishly holds its perfume in the un undeveloped bud. Remember that all that loves rightly manifests divine love. All that lives rightly manifests the one life, and all that thinks rightly manifests the true mind. Remember to lay down all sense of burden. For infinite and adorable life is not a burden bearer. Love your work and it becomes play. Remember that you are a link in this great chain of infinite being. Life would not be complete without you. Remember that the unfoldment of your soul is the only growth worthwhile. Life will become a success to you when you become a success to yourself. Remember that thinking good, speaking good, is true prayer. As Emerson says, prayer is the contemplation of the facts of life from the highest point of view. It is the soliloquy of a beholding and jubilant soul. It is the Spirit of God pronouncing its works good. Remember to love right thought and become inspired with its wonder and power. My words, thoughts, shall never pass away. Right thoughts are the active force of mind or God. Use them freely and thus love for right thinking will become natural and spontaneous. Remember the hardest lesson, the greatest need for... Remember the harder the lesson, the greater the need for strong faith a pure love, and a clear understanding. And also, the greater is the blessing when we have succeeded. Remember that some feet will tread all heights now unattained. Why not thine own? Press on. Achieve. Your dominion is ever within thee, waiting your command to set you free. Well, that was just beautiful. I loved it. I like these when they're broken down into, into pithy little statements like that. Um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, they make great power statements, affirmations. You know, you can choose one or two or all of them. I mean, it's, it's a whole page. Um, to put into treatments. Um, and... and I like that she says remember because that's one of the things 
what we say in science of mind is we're not creating truth we are simply revealing truth and that's that's the way it is with healing um, we are not creating healing we are not we are not doing the healing what we are re what we are doing is revealing the truth we are revealing the perfection of you um, and we're not even doing it all we're doing is holding space for you to do it for yourself so you know um, you know it's not <laughs> as Jesus said it's not I that does the work but the spirit you know within me um, it, it so you know it's like we talk a good game but we we understand where the power is coming from and so I think that's why I like that she used I think that's why she titled it remember it's like remember these things um, the biggest thing that uh, that I talk about on a somewhat regular basis is remembering who we are we are beloved expressions of the divine every single living thing is a beloved expression of the divine right and there are a lot of people out there who are behaving badly and the reason that they're behaving badly is because they have forgotten who they are um, you know and so when I find myself in the presence of somebody who has forgotten who they are then I take it upon myself to treat you know for them it's like okay uh, let me let me treat for you to remember who you are uh, I can't you know like I can't take you to task and make you remember who you are oh I can you know call your attention to your bad behavior uh, just as if I'm behaving badly I hope somebody calls it to my attention uh, it's like you know what that's the not the most spiritual way that you can do that and you know sometimes yeah I know um, sometimes I'm I, I am always a, a, um, a spiritual being having a human experience but sometimes I'm having a human experience and it's just you know and if I can't behave like the spiritual being that I am then I need to remove myself from the situation because it happens and I'm not gonna beat myself up about it but then it goes back to remembering <laughs> it's like I'm gonna remember okay I'm a beloved expression of the divine you're a beloved expression of the divine and maybe what we need is some space um, and so uh, and I and I always hope that if somebody you, you, that when we call each other that's why I said call each other you know it's not my job to call you to death it is my job to point out you know hey that we do it in a loving kind and compassionate way because I'm a big believer in that loving kind and compassionate um, so remember okay and I you saw me you saw me stop on that one well I stopped on a couple because I missed an ER on one. <laughs> I was like this doesn't make sense oh because I didn't read it right um, but uh, the the one that says remember that you are a link in this great chain of infinite being life would not be complete without you you know I think that there's a whole lot of us that need to put that you know somewhere where we can see it every single day it's like all right I, I you know I need this reminder I need this reminder and it's a good one and I yeah and she's a big believer in right thinking and we talk about right thinking and we talk because righteousness is a word that's that that's really gotten kind of overused and abused and when we say right thinking what we mean is is in alignment with good um, and the way you can check it's the same way you can check are you listening to are you listening to God or ego it's like who does this benefit and who does it harm um, because if it benefits one person and harms nobody it's still okay you know ideally the more people we can benefit but if it harms one person it's not right thinking if it harms one life it's not right thinking um, and, and you know you can come at me no I'm not a vegetarian <laughs> <laughs> there are ethical ways of doing that so you know um, and th and that's what you have to remember that's what you have to remember uh, there are ethical ways of doing it that's one of the things you know God loved Temple Grandin because that's she she's the one who came out with the the cat in the cattle industry and said look there's better ways to do this we don't have to tra traumatize these animals so um, you know I, and I hope that more people than not are listening to her it's, yeah you see the uh, yeah I don't even want to go there um, I'm thinking of the palm industry 
there was um, there was a picture of a, a keeper, and I don't know if it was India or in Africa, um, holding and I a great ape, and I don't remember. I don't know if it was an orangutan, a chimpanzee, or um, you know a gorilla um, holding that. And it wasn't a baby, but I don't think it was a full adult because that that apes the the the, the um, I think they're called simians. Uh, the home had been destroyed due to the palm industry. It was like the palm oil industry, and I'm like, there are ways that we can do this that we don't have to destroy other living things' homes. Remember that you are a link in a chain. We are a link in a chain. Uh, and that's one of the things where when they, when I don't like the pyramids, I don't like the pyramids because they always put humans at the top, uh, and, and it separates us from the rest of nature and we're not. So I like the circles where they put humans in the circle. And most of the time they don't even put us in the center because we're not the center of nature. We just think we are. So that's, <clears throat> that's, so when you, when we talk about right thinking, that's what we're talking about. You know, it's like, how do you check yourself? You check. Who does it help? Who does it benefit? And who does it hurt? You know? And if it doesn't hurt anybody, you're good. If it hurts one person, can you find another way to do it? So, um, yeah. I mean, I just love these. Remember, she's not telling us anything we don't know. What she's doing is reminding us. And that's what new thought is. New thought is not new. New thought is old. It is older than, you know, some of the hills. It's, it, it's, what it is, is it's a return to, and Jesse said this, you know, a, a return to the old ways. And it's like, sometimes when we say a return to the old ways, it's like not any, any, any clarified. Um, because we can talk about the golden days all we want. Most of the time, the golden days were not golden for everybody. But when he says a return to the old ways, he means a return to when we were more connected to the cycles of nature. When we recognized that we were a part of, not apart from, nature. When, um, we, when we functioned more with community mind and and that's one of the things that that worries me the most about um the western mindset the western mindset and you know i know where i live and i i will call them out on it um because europe is a little less of this than than america is you know they do tend to be a little more community minded and um, America is very individual and it's like, but you need the community to function and you need all parts of the community to be um, healthy for a functioning community. Uh, I saw one, uh, I saw one, somebody posted it and it said, the working poor is pretty much tells you all you need, all you need to know. Community, right? So that's, that, that's where he wants, that's when he said, I want to go back to the old ways. He wants to go back to the old ways of community mindedness. And that's what new thought is, is community mind, mindedness. And that is what Lillian is talking about. It's like, look, remember who you are. Remember who you are. Remember what you were made from. Remember whose mind you're using, remember whose love you're using, remember, and that first line, the first one is, um, remember to love and to love abundantly and freely. That's one of those things that I, I, you know, it's like love recklessly. You can't, um, you can't use up love. You know, love is an infinite source. Love is an infinite source. You can't use it up. Spend that love recklessly. Now, yeah, you know that when I'm saying that, I, I'm not telling you to go out and do crazy things. I'm just saying don't be afraid to spend that love because it's it's not, you know, you don't have a bank account and you're not watching the numbers go down, you know. 
you are drawing from an infinite well of love. There, there's no limit to the amount of love that you can personally spend because um, you're, you're coming from an infinite source. So you don't have to worry about running out of love. You don't have to worry about running out of love. All right. So I commend Remember by Lillian D. Waters. And you might want to look up How to Have Dominion. Um, it's, it, it, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. There are so many wonderful. And like I said, you can use them as treatments. You can use them as power statements. You can use them as affirmations. Um, you can use one of them. You can use all of them. Whichever one in particular speaks to you. Um, and, and that is the mission today, should we choose to accept it, to remember. To remember who we are. And who are we? Beloved expressions of the divine. Okay? It's always a good idea to explore the truth of your being. Um, and to peel back the layers of everything that people have been have told you. You know, we've, we've got culture and religion and society and archetypes and stereotypes and, you know, gender normatives. And what and there's nothing normal about gender. It's, it's a spectrum. It's a continuum. People just need to get over it uh, and let people be who they are. Um, and then also, you know, uh, ad agencies and marketing execs, they, they have a vested interest in telling you who you are. So peel all of that away because the only thing that matters is who the divine knows you to be. You know, that's that's what's important. Who does the divine know you to be? And I can promise you one thing, and it's the only thing I can promise you, that the person that the divine knows you to be is good. The divine created you. And the divine created you from itself. So the person the divine knows you to be is good. From there, anything is possible. And it really is up to you. You get to make that choice. You get to define who you are. All right, beloveds. So um, the other mission I give you, it's the mission of self-care. Um, it's the spiritual practice of self-care to do something loving for yourself, do something kind for yourself, do something compassionate for yourself, whatever that is, big, small, it doesn't matter. The point is to practice on yourself. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to remind you that we are Creative Life Spiritual Center, Creative Life Spark. I am the running Rev Ryan on the social medias that I am on. Um, one of the ways that you can really support us that doesn't cost you anything other than a click is to go and subscribe to the YouTube channels, go and like the pages, follow the pages, share the stuff. Um, the more our stuff is shared, then uh, the more... Uh, then the algorithms will go, oh, people need to see this. So please feel free to, you know, like, subscribe, share, follow, do all that stuff. All right. And on the YouTube channels, when you subscribe to the YouTube channels, apparently it notifies you when we upload new videos. So um, there's that too. All right, beloveds. Um, I guess I'm at the part where I get to encourage you to have a great day, a wondrous day, a fantastic day, a magical day, an enchanted day, a wonderful day, an awesome day, an amazing day, a sunny day, a wear your jacket day, a um, enjoy the cool weather while it's here day, a watch the cat saunter into the room day, <laughs> a good day, and if that is too much pressure. Simply have a day. You are enough just as you are. You are a beloved expression of the divine. You are a spirit in motion, God in action, a brilliant light, a divine spark, or as Reverend Jesse likes to call us, you are a godling. All right. So like I said, explore the truth of your being. Okay, beloveds. Uh, Reverend David should be on around 5 p.m. with you. I'll be back with you around 9 a.m. I don't think I ever said if you want to know what's going on with the center, email info at creativelife.org. So I'll slot that in right here. Um, it's a constant contact. You get one email a week because it's a real person doing it. And he ain't got time for more than that. And it's especially important right now while our website's under construction. So uh, apparently we've hired a new company. They just have to take that ancient code and rebuild it. So, um, all right. Take care of yourself. Know that you are loved, and I will see you next time.